Difference between OTF, Open Type, or TTF, True Type, Font Formats? On a Mac, when I'm downloading fonts I'm often given the choice between OTF, Open Type Format, and TTF, True Type Format. Is there any difference in the way ligatures work or anything between the two formats? OTF is more likely to be a better font, as it supports more advanced typesetting features, small caps, alternates, ligatures and so on actually inside the font rather than in fairly separate expert set fonts. It can also contain either spline, TTF style, or Bezier, postscript type 1 style, curves, so hopefully you're getting the shapes the font was originally designed in and not a potentially poor quality conversion. On the other hand, if you're downloading free fonts from shovelware sites, you're unlikely to get any of that. Indeed, you may simply be getting a TTF font renamed to OTF. OTF is a more recent format than TTF, so OTF has some features that TTF doesn't. Which is a moot point if the font's creator didn't use them. One note from personal experience however, depending on what you're going to be doing with these fonts, I found it's much easier to get tools that work with TTF as opposed to OTF. If you're just using them for desktop publishing, word processing, either will work fine, but if you're going to be doing anything programmatic, I'd recommend TTF just due to the higher number of tools, libraries out there. Please note that when file endings are common, both .otf and .ttf may denote fonts in the OpenType format. See OpenType in Wikipedia. Actually, this is more accurately pronounced in the German version. This comes a little confusing as some .ttf font files may look as if they are in legacy ANSI Windows TrueType format, whereas in fact they may be full-featured OpenType fonts. The main difference between both flavors being that .ttf style fonts use quadratic Bezier splines whereas .otf style fonts use cubic Bezier splines. Historically, quadratic Bezier curves have been used for the legacy TrueType format. Cubic Bezier curves have come from a postscript background. Cubic Bezier are potentially more accurate. Every quadratic Bezier curve can be exactly reproduced with a cubic Bezier curve but may be approximated with smaller segmented sequences of quadratic Bezier. Also note that neither cubic nor quadratic Bezier splines may exactly reproduce a circle. There is always some approximation error. Another minor difference in the specification seems to be that TTF-flavored OpenType fonts may address the same glyph with several code points. Therefore, this saves some space, if for example the uppercase versions of B, Beta and Read, Latin, Greek and Cyrillic B have the same shape. I don't agree with those who say that OTF is the best format. TTF offers the designer the possibility to change the details of the rasterization on screen and in print, if the designer knows how to do it. For example, 